The Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Younger Actress in a Drama Series was an award presented annually by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences and the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. It was given annually from 1985 to 2019 to honor a young actress below the age of 25, who had delivered an outstanding performance in a role while working within the daytime drama industry. At the 12th Daytime Emmy Awards held in 1985, Tracy E. Bregman was the first winner of this award, for her role of Lauren Fenmore on The Young and the Restless. The award ceremony had not been aired on television for the prior two years, having been criticized for voting integrity. The award was originally called Outstanding Ingenue in a Drama Series. The criteria of the new category were deemed confusing, performers of differing ages were nominated, and critics argued some were of supporting or lead actress standards. Adding to the confusion, the first winner, Bregman, and the Outstanding Supporting Actress winner that year, Beth Maitland, played characters near to the same age. The category was renamed Outstanding Juvenile Female in a Drama Series in 1989, and began using its current title in 1991. The criteria were later altered, requiring that the actress be aged 25 or below. The award was presented to 23 actresses. The Young and the Restless has the most recipients of this award, with a total of eight. Since 2008, Jennifer Landon had been tied with Jennifer Finnegan for most wins, with three each. In 1999, Heather Tom became the most nominated actress in the category, when she was nominated a seventh time, also winning a second time the year. She was nominated again the following year, holding the title with eight nominations, however, she lost to Cameron Grimes. In 2000, Grimes also became the youngest recipient of the award, winning at the age of 10. At the 2019 ceremony, Haley Aaron became the last awarded actress in this category, for her role as Kiki Jerome on General Hospital. In October 2019, the Natas decided to replace both younger actor and actress categories with a single, gender-neutral one, outstanding younger performer in a drama series. Listed below are the winners of the award for each year, as well as the other nominees. Martha Byrne was nominated five-time, and won once, in 1987, for her role as Lily Walsh on As the World Turns. Jane Krakowski was nominated twice for her role as T.R. Kendall on Search for Tomorrow. Robin Wright was nominated three times for her role as Kelly Capwell on Santa Barbara. Julianne Moore won in 1988, for her role as Franny Hughes and Sabrina Hughes on As the World Turns. Katie McLean was nominated twice, and won in 1990, for her role as Dixie Cooney on All My Children. Charlotte Ross received two nominations for her role as Eve Donovan on Days of Our Lives and Heche was nominated twice, and won in 1991, for her role as Marley Hudson and Vicky Hudson on Another World. Trisha Cast was nominated twice, and won in 1992, for her role as Nina Webster on The Young and the Restless. Sarah Michelle Gellar was nominated twice, and won in 1995, for her role as Kendall Hart on All My Children. Sharon Case garnered two nominations for her portrayal of Sharon Newman on The Young and the Restless. Ashley Jones was nominated twice for her role as Megan Dennison on The Young and the Restless. Eden Regal was nominated four times, and won in 2005, for her role as Bianca Montgomery on All My Children. Emily O'Brien received three nominations for her role as Jana Hawks Fisher on The Young and the Restless. Shelley Hennig received two nominations for her role as Stephanie Johnson on Days of Our Lives. Brittany Allen won in 2011 for her role as Marissa Chandler on All My Children. Jacqueline McInnes would receive two nominations for her role as Steffi Forrester on The Bold and the Beautiful. Thanks for watching.